Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, welcome back. Another rendition of Fix Your Form. I'm here to coach you guys for free. If you want to get involved, we need three reps, 70%. Email to askmikke at gmail.com. We're starting off with some squats. My man, I don't want to judge you, but first seeing that belt, I thought I was going to see some ugly ass squats. He's got the bodybuilder belt on, uh, but overall, dude, I'd say those squats are really, 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 really solid. Um, it looks like you're facing a mirror. I often suggest people do not face a mirror, whether you plan to compete in powerlifting or not. I think for proprioception, just learning your body awareness uh, and general motor pattern, it helps to feel your squat, feel the movement and not look at yourself. So if you can face away, I suggest everybody does that in all lifts. Um, but overall, man, I don't know if there's much I would change. Uh, you have really good contact with the ground, with your feet, backs in a great position. You keep that torso angle through the whole thing. Um, from this angle, uh, even though that pole is in the way, depth's there, uh, everything looks really, really solid. I think uh, the constant things we're always working on are uh, then getting stronger, uh, bracing a little bit harder, uh, bracing your back, bracing your stomach. Uh, but overall, my man, that's some really solid weight. Moved very, uh, very well, if I do say so myself. And that is a majestic, an absolutely majestic walk away. The belt, he looks off to the distance, he wipes the sweat off his brow, stares at the ladies over there in the cardio section, and on to his next set. Let's see what we got here. Again, we got the mirror. I know this guy uh, maybe can't face backwards, but uh, again, that's a suggestion I do I do recommend to everybody. Let's see what we got, my man. He's getting a little hyped up. It's supposed to be 70%. Let's not get all hyped up here. He just did the two-step, the Sierra one-two step. I'd like to see a little bit cleaner walkout. Um, as much as we can, we want to make everything we do as efficient as possible so we can, uh, one, negate any uh, chance of injury that we can that's possible, uh, and also just uh, the more efficient you are, the more weight you can move and the more volume you can handle. So uh, two to three steps maximum on the walkout. Uh, overall, with the squat, the general form, my man, is really, really good. What I'd suggest to do is, again, we talk about it often, but be quick, don't hurry. Uh, my man, John Wooden, one of the greatest coaches of all time, uh, let alone just basketball, greatest coaches and minds in sports of all time. What we need you to do is control that descent a little bit more. Yes, we want to get a little bit of that uh, muscle elasticity and rebound out of it, uh, but we also want to keep a good position. And it looks like you're flopping a little bit into the bottom, even slow-mo here. Going back to the hype up and the walkout, uh, we want to really focus on this being a skill, similar to a golfer uh, going to the golf range, similar to a basketball player shooting free throws. We want repetition and repeatable repetition. Um, getting hyped up and all that is fine, and it can. A little bit of adrenaline, uh, anger, being pissed off can help you lift a little bit more weight when the time comes. But when we're doing the majority of our workouts to not get mentally or physically fried, I suggest um, the majority of your reps, you're just going in calm, cool, and focused. Uh, if you have to get fired up for a top set here and there, that's fine. Um, but but if it's every workout, every set, every rep, uh, I, I would suggest against it if you're trying to uh, play the long game. You can see I, in the hole, probably the last, maybe even foot, you just lose tightness uh, and you get the rebound and power to back up. But you'd be a little better off keeping that tension. So keep forcing those knees out. Uh, I would try going hips back a little bit more, a little bit less knee travel in your case. Um, but overall, pretty solid, man. So fix that walkout. Try to relax a little bit. Focus on just getting better. Focus on your technique. When you're getting so hyped up, sometimes you waste energy and waste brain power. Uh, two, control that descent a little bit more. Knees out and a little bit more vertical shin in your in your uh, case right there. Let's see what we got on this next one. It's cool to see everybody squatting in kind of these normal gyms. And these gyms are getting better, man. I remember even just eight years ago, seven years ago, hard to find a, a gym with a squat rack. And you guys are in all these what look to be air-conditioned commercial gyms but you got all the system you need a little bit <clears throat> a narrower stance squat here which is is fine and dandy um uh, typically but for you my man i might try to move that out we're pushing into our knees just a little bit too much um so what i would try to do is move those heels out a bit keep forcing those knees out we want them forward and out um, and again also uh, maybe some pause squats may help but you want to control uh, the bottom portion of that squat smiling cut it Cut it, bro. Edit that out, dude. Cut it that out. What are you doing? Edit it. A little Blair Witch project. Um, so what I would suggest, again, is uh, moving that stance out for you. I can't tell what shoes you're rocking right now, um, but if we can get 
a really flat shoe or even a heeled shoe in most cases um, would be better off just for that stability. It looks like you may be rocking a running shoe. And then number two for you is a slightly wider stance and then really forcing those knees out and forward. Uh, you just get a little bit too forward on your knees and you're staying very vertical, which is fine, but a little bit of torso lean may not hurt. Um, in your case too, over time, I don't suggest this to everyone, but often um, you can squat a little bit more weight and be a little bit more comfortable with the bar a little bit lower. There's kind of two main places we'll put it. Um, Kind of in the middle of your trap, even though people call it a high bar, it's not technically like on your neck or high on your trap. It's kind of mid trap where you're squeezing your back. The other one is kind of resting on your rear delt. If you really squeeze those shoulders together, uh, and if you're jacked or even if you're not jacked, you'll have some kind of shelf there on your rear delt. Uh, that will keep it a little bit closer to your hips and a little bit easier to put over your mid foot. It'll make that lever from your hips to the barbell, the weight, the load a little bit less. So that may do you really well because uh, I think if you get a little bit more torso lean, um, meaning your chest is towards the ground slightly more, but then stuck there, it doesn't get drastically more of an uh, increased angle on the way down. It's stuck because you're bracing and breathing. Uh, you'll be a little bit better off. So a um, couple things to think about. You don't have to do the low bar thing. You can do what you want to do. I'm just here giving out free advice. <laughs> you know, take it for what it is. But I would uh, try to move that stance out uh, and really force those knees out and a little bit less forward, my mans. Way to stay hydrated, though. I like that you kept that clip in there letting everybody know, like, yeah, dude, I drink Gatorade. I drink water. Don't judge me. We're hydrated up in here. After the eight cups of coffee, I had to get fired up to do my squat workout. And we're moving on to some poles. Again, the mirror, not a big fan, um, but this conventional pull, I am a fan. If I was to write a textbook, which I'll never do because I hate books, um, that is a really, really clean pull, dude. Um, as, as, as clean as it can get for your body type. Um, I, I don't got much to say, my man. You left me speechless. Buddy, was that Norway? I hope I don't say something stupid and people are like, Mike, you're an idiot in the comments. I'm pretty cultured. My geography's okay. I think that's Norway flag, Norwegian flag. I may be wrong. But uh, overall, dude, I'd say that's a really, really clean pull. And that's why we didn't go in the slow-mo. We got nothing to say, dude. Super clean. <clears throat> Pupper's here trying to get his poles on. He said, hey, Pops, why are you pulling sumo? He said, do you eat that butt? He said, conventional making love. Conventional fucking. Pops, are you making love? We trying to fuck in here. That's what Pups is thinking. I don't, I don't know why that came to my head, but that's what that's what that little cute Australian shepherd's doing. Um, overall, dude, uh, that sumo looks really, really clean. Really, really clean from this angle. It's a little bit far away. Um, but from everything I can see, there's not much I would fix. Uh, once you get a little bit more comfortable, uh, perhaps try to snap those hips down into place as you're pulling. So you have your hips high, you grab the bar. As you're more, more and more comfortable with the pulls. Is this the exact same video, just from a different angle? This is great, dude. You had two cameras. What a beast. Um, yeah, I think that's a really good pull. I'm not a big fan of pulling on wood. It looks like you might do some weightlifting also. Uh, the wood, for me personally, the uh, doing sumo, uh, just makes it slip a little bit. I feel like I, I have a little bit less tension. I can't really push into the ground. My goal with sumo is lock in my mid section, lock in my lats, and then literally I'm just flexing my quads as hard as humanly possible and falling backwards. Once I kind of lock that in, I feel like I can pull anything. Um, and you're doing a really good job of that. It's just with wood, I feel like I can't flex my quads as hard as possible. So that's something to think about. About. Um, but overall, really good, dude. I think uh, if you could speed up um, that kind of setup of yours, and I suggest that for everybody, you know, you have to crawl before you can walk, you got to walk before you can sprint. Um, but once you get a repetition, uh, an efficient setup, an efficient pull, and your form is locked in, and then you're, we're constantly trying to make our form better and tweaking things. But once it's, you know, 90, 95% locked in, um, we want to start to speed things up a little bit, get a little bit of that elasticity out of the muscle um, and try to be as explosive as we can. Uh, and my man, uh, from what I can see here, it looks like you're there. Um, so flexing those lats a little bit harder and then speeding up that pull uh, looks really good, dude. Uh, dope little garage gym. Awesome to see people smashing weights. It's awesome to see the progression, even within the fixture form that we've just been doing for the last six months or so. Everybody here getting better. The form itself and the videos that we're receiving are getting better and better. So it means you guys are working hard and it means that maybe somebody's watching and maybe somebody's learning. So um, if you guys got friends, uh, you know, obviously subscribe and turn on notifications so you guys don't miss a video. We are upping things. We're going five videos a week here. Um, 
it really helps me out if you guys share this and give it a thumbs up. I appreciate all the all the support so far. Uh, we got two podcasts a week pushing content like a mofo. So two podcasts, Tuesday and Friday, Mama's Boys Podcast, Spotify, iTunes, all that. Link can be in the description. And then I'm also, if you guys want to come hang out, if you're into video games or just dicking around, uh, trying to have a good time, I'm live streaming on Twitch, which is a live stream platform for video games, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, I tweet out or Instagram out um, what times I'll be on. Uh, but if you go to Twitch, Follow me there. Links in the bio. It's just Silent Mike with two Ks and the number two. Someone stole Silent Mike on there. Messed up, I know. Uh, but you guys can come and join me there. Hang out, chat. Uh, it's a good way to interact. We're building a really cool community there. Having a lot of fun. Video games are just kind of the background, but playing music. Uh, hanging out with the homies. I'm always playing with some friends. Omar plays with me sometimes, so it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. See, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Commercial gym, but this guy's like, whatever, I don't care. I'm about to smash some conventional pools. Again, facing the mirror. Uh, if we can not face the mirror, I understand you got those little pads, uh, a little bit of blocks action. One, because you got the hex plate and you're in the gym. Um, overall, looks really good. I know you're wearing some some kind of Nike type of cross training shoe, um, but I think even flatter, the better. Uh, overall form, starting position is really, really good. All I would say is when we're locking out both sumo and conventional, we need to focus on really standing tall people about think about leaning back and sometimes when you lean back too much at lockout or flex your glutes too much at lockout we tend to bend our knees and when you bend your knees it's not an official lockout so what i think about is flexing my quads flexing my glutes and standing as tall as i can here we are some sumo in the gym uh I like that you're really pulling the slack out and being a uh, nice, efficient, and slow, but I'd also like you to make it more of a one fluid movement. So from there, pull those hips down and begin to pull. Um, it looks like your knees are shooting forward just a hair, so maybe hips a bit higher. Uh, and then again, from your hips high, grabbing the bar, kind of turning that into one fluid motion. You're kind of going steps one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can turn one and two to the same and three and four to the same. Snap those hips into place and really push off into those quads. Um, for you, my man, again, the angle's a little bit tough, uh, but I try to get those hips probably a hair higher than you are right now. Uh, it also looks like the weight's a little bit low. Again, 70% will give me a better idea, but it looks like you're really pulling the slack out and the bar's coming up a little bit too easy for it to be 70%. So um, just fl even right there, if you'd flatten your back out in this position, your hips are probably in the right position. Um, rather than you're trying to get them too low, too close to the bar, under max load, I just think you'll kick that bar forward and really mess up the bar path and maybe mess up the lift. Again, guys,